Hello, everyone, and welcome to Neighbor Cloud's 2021 online conference. I'm beyond excited to be addressing the great people in South Korea today. My name is Alan Chabra. I'm MongoDB's Senior Vice President of Worldwide Partners, and I'm also responsible for APAC and MongoDB's public sector business. Today, I'm going to speak about our great partnership with Neighbor Cloud and what we are going to be doing together to launch a fantastic MongoDB as a service offering in Korea. Korea has always been a great market for MongoDB. You have some of the most innovative startups in the world and some of the most iconic brands like Samsung and Hyundai in the region. But most importantly, you have millions of developers in the country who are thinking about how to use uh, technology to innovate for their own companies? How can they use software and write software to help their companies compete? And MongoDB, I'm proud to say, is a company that builds software for developers to innovate and write applications. MongoDB is the most popular modern database in the world with over 155 million downloads of our product, many of which are in Korea, we have 24,000 paying customers around the world and over 2 million customers trying our product for free in the cloud. That's correct. We offer a free MongoDB that you can download. And then as you use it and want to take it into production, maybe you want to get some support, some paid features. But MongoDB is everywhere because it's a data platform designed for application developers. If you think about the customers who are using MongoDB, both in Korea and out of Korea, it is from banking to retailers, to gaming, to online websites, to payment companies, to cyber currency companies, it's everywhere because all these companies have one common uh, theme. They all wanna use software to innovate. They all wanna use software to compete. They, many of them actually consider themselves software companies. If you're a car company today, you're not just about the car, you're about the experience and the fact that you're leveraging IoT and AI to give the driver, driver of the car a connected experience. So we're really proud about the number of customers we have, especially uh, in Korea. Now, I mentioned the adoption of MongoDB. Uh, it has grown year over year. The company was founded actually in 2010, and we were founded by developers. Those developers uh, had one common theme and uh, one common problem. They could not use the database technologies uh, from the 1990s to build and write new applications for the modern era where data is extremely unstructured. They just cannot use these tabular row and column databases like Oracle to innovate to handle the unstructuredness of data, whether it's social data, mobile data, geospatial data, photos, videos, you name it, try putting those in a row and column database. So they invented MongoDB. We offered it to the developer community as an open source product. And you see the amount of downloads that have happened. And over time, customers have decided that, hey, I want to write my applications and move my applications to the cloud. So we're seeing a tremendous uh, uptick of cloud deployments of MongoDB. And that's where our partnership with Naver Cloud in Korea really gels well because Naver Cloud is the, one of the best clouds in Korea to run your applications and your databases. But we have lots of partners, lots of customers. We offer free education about MongoDB. Just go to mongodbuniversity.com. Uh, it is the most popular uh, database out there, which is what makes us really proud to be working um, with Neighbor Cloud. So in South Korea, we have a large customer base. In the last couple of years, we've increased the number of customers 54% year on year. Um, we have customers using us in the cloud, 123% increase year on year. We have 330% increase in the number of students who are registering for MongoDB University uh, in Korea. You see some of the logos of customers using our products, Samsung, LG, Flow, Hyundai. It's just a really great market for us. 
And we have a local team on the ground led by Joe Shin and a pre-sales and sales and support and engineering team there that all speak Korean that can work with local customers, especially those of neighbor cloud. So Mongo in Korea is a great market for us. And I highly recommend if you're a developer and you're writing new software, you think about how I can innovate faster by leveraging technologies, data based technologies like MongoDB. Now you may be asking what makes MongoDB so special? Okay, there are lots of database technologies. MongoDB is the only one that is not just a database, it's an application data platform. Our target audience for this data platform are application developers. Because we serve the needs of application developers is why we're so widely popular. We invented the document model. The document model is a different way of managing and storing data versus the traditional tabular or relational model from the 1990s. But what we do is we combine the benefits of a document model, all the things you've heard, like things like NoSQL, the ability to uh, ingest extremely unstructured data that can go easier into a document versus a row and column database. We do all that, but we've poured millions of dollars into R&D to also allow those same application developers to do traditional relational type use cases like acid transactions and high intensive query and secondary indexing. We then have layered on enterprise level security and management and the ability for you to run MongoDB anywhere, specifically in microservice type environments, whether it's in the cloud, whether it's on premise, whether it's on your laptop, whether it's on your mobile phone, or even a mainframe, you can run MongoDB everywhere and you have the freedom to run it in hybrid environments. So really it brings the world of traditional relational type use cases. But then obviously in the last 20 years, 10, 20 years, you've seen this uptick of unstructured data. We're the masters of handling that through your traditional NoSQL and big data strength, strength innovation. What, what you're also seeing is that MongoDB is being used to both write modern applications. Uh, developers in uh, many sectors are using it to build unified interface or single view type applications where you know, maybe they're uh, in, in the banking industry and they wanna have a single view of their customer when they call them, but they have the data of that customer spread out through so many silos. They bring that in a unified interface using MongoDB as a single view. Maybe they're trying to do real-time analytics. They are uh, have applications that are real-time, but they also wanna run the analytics against them to get better customer, uh, customer view. They don't wanna have a separate big data farm. They can do that through MongoDB, really real-time analytics. Or maybe they're trying to synchronize data uh, across multiple applications around the world. Like I said, MongoDB can run anywhere across cloud, between cloud providers in the neighbor cloud. It can run in AWS, Azure, Google. You have the ability to kind of move that data around as you need it. But then you're also seeing a huge initiative that's going on where you have all these legacy applications that customers need to get out of their own data centers and they wanna move them to neighbor cloud or AWS, Azure, Google, et cetera. So they're trying to think about how do I get my legacy applications to the cloud? and we call this cloud modernization. So those customers who I mentioned that are trying to move these legacy applications and workloads to the cloud, they usually have two paths to get them there. And many times they bring in consulting partners and SIs to help them uh, do it. Now at the bottom of this slide, you see more of a misguided path, which is the lift and shift. Take the old monolithic application, pick it up, move it to the cloud, put it in some kind of similar relational database. The project's very tactical with a limited ROI. Um, it doesn't really unlock the advantages of a cloud, which are really uh, meant for things like microservices. The economics are really unattractive. What do you really get by taking a legacy workload that's just big, 
old and monolith and move it to a similar architecture in the cloud. You're only getting ROI. What we at MongoDB and Naver Cloud always recommend is modernization. It's far more strategic. You can leverage our uh, MongoDB and Naver's joint partnership in Korea. You get to break that monolith to a microservices environment using a next-gen database like MongoDB. It's a much higher ROI engagement. The implementation is way less risky if you use our partnership. It's highly defensible to your management because you're unleashing the power of the cloud as you move the workload to the cloud. You just get a far better ROI. And it's really what the CXOs in your companies are wanting to do. Get to the cloud, but get value out of it. Don't just get to the cloud. Get to the cloud and get value. And that comes in modernization. We here at MongoDB are seeing this move in many different sectors. In the financial sector, we're seeing billing and payments applications being moved to the cloud and broken up into microservices using MongoDB. We're seeing this in retailers. It's been accelerated because of COVID. They're trying to accelerate their e-commerce or inventory management. We're seeing them do that, uh, modernize that as they move to the cloud. Single view, I mentioned, operationalizing data lakes, getting off the mainframe. All these popular use cases are great places to start as you think about moving those legacy applications, which are on-premise to the cloud but along the way, make sure you modernize using the MongoDB and Neighbor Cloud partnership. So where in the region are we just doing a phenomenal job? I would recommend uh, people dig in and speak with my local sales team, Joe Shin and others about uh, the proof point at Flow. You know, we were uh, using MongoDB we reduced disk volume expenditures by 50%. We improved performance um, by three times. We're able to uh, migrate things off older uh, legacy architectures like MySQL. Um, just a great uh, joint case study that we have in the region and things that we can replicate in the neighbor cloud. So to finalize uh, my story today, we've got a phenomenal partnership in place with Naver Cloud, they offer MongoDB as a service, a fully managed offering in Korea. Um, this partnership is going to be very beneficial to industries with high regulation in Korea, such as finance, um, in the public, and in the healthcare sectors. I really recommend if you're a developer, whether you're writing new applications or modernizing legacy, you think about this offering. And for more questions, I recommend you reach out to Joe Shin. He's our country manager of Korea. He's a great guy. He knows this space. Him and his team of salespeople, support people, pre-sales and service people, they're ready to help any customer of Neighbor Cloud adopt MongoDB. I personally want to thank you uh, on behalf of the MongoDB executive team for listening to this session. And I do want to thank the Neighbor Cloud exec team for their sponsorship of MongoDB. Thank you.